What is going on guys? Welcome back to N and J. This is another new bike. This is my 2022 Aprilia Tuono V4 and today we're going to be doing a Fender Eliminator kit on it by New Rage Cycles. So let's get into it. Yeah. Alright, so this is the Fender Eliminator kit from New Rage Cycles. I bought it online. It was about $215 shipped. Um, so pretty reasonably priced. Open the box here, pretty high quality. It's like CNC, so this is obviously where the license plate goes. This is gonna be to clean up the tail section. It actually comes with LED turn signals, so we're gonna scrap the entire, uh, the entire fender on the stock bike. So I'm pretty excited to put this on. It's gonna clean it up a lot and should look pretty good. All right, so first off, you gotta take the rear seat and the main seat off to take the Main seat off, there's two four millimeter bolts that go right here. So next up, we gotta take this back section off using a 10 millimeter socket. There's three bolts. So one right here in the middle. And there's gonna be two more right towards the front. One here, and then the other one's gonna be back here in this hole. And that pops off just like that. All right, so next up, once you get all this stuff off, uh, you have to, this is the starter solenoid right here, so we're just gonna kind of finagle this out and just kind of, it's stuck on there with these rubber pieces. Once you're inside, you got to find the blinker connector, which is gonna be this one right here, which you just kind of unplug like that. And the other part is gonna come out with the Fender Eliminator kit. So now using a 10 millimeter socket, there's two bolts kind of stuck down in that go to the fender. And then we need a T30 Torx bit that we're gonna stick on the bottom side and we're gonna loosen those and take the fender off. So we'll do that right now. Kind of hard to do one handed. Shit. Can't fucking see what I'm doing. There it is. Gotta be one more somewhere. All right. Oh, it's like straight up. Yeah. Seriously? Here, I might have to try and. Oh, probably because it was already out. There you go. All right. Just gotta give it the berries. Fuck that shit. All right, so before we put this on, the instructions say to uh, test the turn signal. So we're gonna plug that connector on, hit the key. They seem to work. All right, now we just gotta put it on. So we're gonna feed all of this up through the bike. I'm going to put the bolt through here, the spacer, and that is going to thread right there, I do believe. You got to feed this through the same hole? I don't think so. I don't know. So right there, you start the threads, but you don't tighten it down. And then, you take your T30 bits. They go in here. There's one. And there's two. It's kind of a tight fit. Then we just got to place the bolts back on. Up top. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do that. We had a magnetic uh, 
socket. Because how the fuck do you do that? Yep. All right, so we did some stuff off camera. And um, anyways, we got it uh, situated. It's kind of, you have to kind of force it in. You got to finagle it a little bit. But you got to tighten that bolt. There's two extended bolts that come in the kit that you slide in the bottom into those holes where we had to loosen the 10 millimeter bolt. Then you put the bolts back on top. So now you have to feed this wire through. And what we're going to do is this is the license plate bracket. We're going to put it right on this bottom part of the main bracket. Same thing, it's four millimeter Allens, just like that. And then before I tighten this down all the way, I'm probably gonna throw my license plate on it. And real quick, what we're also gonna test out um, up here, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? So, Part of the bracket each the license plate light there's these two little uh connectors right here i don't know what these are called are they deutsch are these deutsch connectors i don't i don't know anyways there's two corresponding plugs plug those in we're gonna turn the bike on and it should illuminate the license plate light which it does which means it's all connected properly so we're gonna throw my license plate on there crank everything down we're gonna put it all back together and we'll show you guys how it looks three 10 millimeter bolts to put this big ass back seat thing on. I'm gonna try and find a V4 tail section. I thought they were black, but if they're like, well, if they're black, it would still look good. Mm -hmm. I just don't know, since the way it probably is, I don't know if I'll be able to just buy the V4 tail section. If I can, that's probably gonna be a wintertime mod. Once you put this back on though, there'll be those two uh, four millimeter bolts for the main seat. And we'll pop the back seat on and we'll show you guys how it looks. And just pop that back on. Maybe. That and we're good to go. So, as you guys can see, things on right now. Um, license plates mounted. You can't see it, which is cool. Uh, it basically mounts flush with the bottom of the of the, uh, the tail of the bike. So there is a license plate light, so it does illuminate it. Everything's legal um, from a distance. I'm sure people will be able to see it. So once you get up close, though, it's pretty much invisible. The blinkers work. They are pretty bright LEDs. Let me turn the bike on real quick. So there's the right, probably can't see it, but the left one's on. So everything still works. Never had a problem with it at all while we were putting it back together. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That is how kind of to install a fender eliminator on a Prelia 20 V4. They're hard to find. I've only found about two or three that are for this model year because they came out with 21 and 22 are different than the previous models. So I believe it's the same concept for the uh, RS V4. So if you have this one or the RS before, it's going to be pretty similar. Process install difficulty was pretty low. Nick and I are just stupid. <laughs> Mental capacity here very low. <laughs> we uh, we are not mechanics. We are garage mechanics at best. But it's fun to do stuff like this. So we're going to go take it for a week, make sure everything stays uh, put. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the video. If you guys do subscribe, stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of content with this bike coming up as well as Nick's new bike, which you guys will eventually see. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch you guys next time.